The Lady Tigers earned their way to win number five on the season Friday night at Wamiko in a brutal battle. They come out on top 43-37 and climbed to number two ranked now in the state in Class 3A. Tonight, it's an NCKL matchup against the Concordia Panthers. Lady Tiger pregame is here. It's being brought to you by GN Bank, Wollers Bandbox Cleaners, Five Creek Automotive, Midwest Products, and Edward Jones Investments' Kerry Spillman, Financial Advisor. Our pregame talk with Coach Jeff Edwards on the way next. Midwest Products is a leading provider of ready-mix concrete for commercial and residential projects. They can pour foundations for basements along with walls, driveways, steps, sidewalks, and patios. With state-approved plants in Hanover Clay Center in Washington, their local teams are prepared to serve every aspect of your project. They're proven experts who always deliver quality results. Customer service is and always will be the top priority. For your next concrete project, call Midwest Products at 800-371-2252. All of us at GN Bank join the fans, parents, and coaches in supporting the Clay Center Tigers student-athletes. Their energy on the basketball court reflects their team spirit and good work ethic. GN Bank is also proud of the work these same students do in the classroom as they aspire to learn the academic skills they need for success in the future. We encourage everyone to get out and watch the Clay Center Tiger basketball teams. I'm Julie Hamill. Best wishes for an outstanding season from GN Bank. Back on Lady Tiger pregame, joined now by Coach Jeff Edwards as the Lady Tigers get back home in another league matchup with Concordia. Friday night, Coach, in Wamigo, you, we said in pregame, you stated it, it's a tough place to play, and it just has, there's something about going into that uh, gym that, that always has something unique happen, and it, I, I would say, didn't disappoint, but maybe it did in some ways. It was a weird night Friday uh, for the Lady Tigers. Somehow they found a way to win that game. Yeah, and, and you know, there's, we faced a lot of adversity in that game. Um, we faced foul trouble. We faced uh, controversy with, some of the calls that were happening out there. Um, we, you know, we faced a new defense that we hadn't seen before. We faced probably the quickest, um, most athletic type team that we've faced. And, uh, you know, all in all, when you look at it and you look back at the film, we had to do some things that were totally different. A lot of different kids played in different spots. You know, I was moving my center out as the point guard for a little while there. I was having... You know, some of the uh, seven, eight, nine people on my bench coming in and, and contributing. So, you know, the fact that we, we did get to face a, a team like that in an atmosphere that has such a good, you know, student section and uh, lots of energy in the, in, the, in the gym and to come out, you know, being down by a few points, four minutes to go and, and to come out on a 9-0 run and finish the, with the win, um, I was really happy. Finish with the win without your point guard on the floor, as you mentioned. You know, Claire Edwards steps out. She had a game that the points you can always look at, but to handle the basketball and still come away with nine rebounds in a basketball game, I thought there were a lot of things the sophomore did really, really well that maybe don't even show up to people just uh, casually watching the basketball game. Yes, and, and that, that what, what we found out had to happen is we had to have somebody tall enough to see over the top of that press. So um, I think moving her up to the top at the point, allowed us to do that and and uh one thing that she does do really well is see the floor and distribute to her teammates and and uh, i thought she did a great job with that and and when we needed when we needed some some big buckets she got buckets when we needed somebody to calm us down she did that for us so um i was happy that uh, that she was able to step up and and contribute that way Aaron Hamill has just been consistent night in and night out, 17 points. She threw in uh, six rebounds brought down as well on the stat sheet. A couple of things that really stood out to me, you know, Addie goes down with the foul trouble and, and, and weird, weird game for, for her to play in. Maddie Craig comes in, three assists, one turnover against what you just talked about, that pressure. Uh, that's big for the sophomore there to step up too. Definitely, yeah. And, and um, Maddie's biggest contri contribution in, in the game was just her intense defense. I mean, they were extremely quick from the guards, and uh, she had some huge steals, and, and she advanced the ball up on a couple of fast breaks after her steals for layups. Um, so, you know, the, the, the composure, the, the competitive side of Maddie kind of came out in that game, which is it's exciting because I think we'd seen a lot of the, uh, oh, my gosh, I'm a sophomore nervousness. <laughs> Um, in the previous games, and I, I felt like this one, she was 
she just kind of showed her true grit and, and uh, you know, the, the refuse to lose that I, I see a lot of times when I watch her compete. You know, every player could be talked about. I'm going to bring two more up, though. I think they were huge in the game. You talked about falling behind in a fourth and going on a 9-0 run. It all started when Haley Franson, your senior, steps up and knocks down another big three for you. Yeah, exactly. And and uh, a lot of what Haley had done through the game was just stay steady. You know, she she didn't take a bad shot the entire night, and uh, she had had a really solid week of practice. And um, you know, I, I can specifically remember the the penetrate and the kick out right in front of me, right there. And and I watched myself on film too. It was just like I knew it was going in. There wasn't a whole lot of emotion there, so I wasn't surprised it went in. It was a it was a great looking shot. She also hit a great shot against. Uh, Riley County in a, almost the exact same spot right in front of me. And so, you know, I think that she's doing a great job kind of playing to her role and playing with confidence and, and uh, you know, always always an, an aggressive defender, always scrapping for the ball and, and you know, hitting shots when, when we need them. And I wanted to mention Jaden Crimmins, who comes in and does a lot of good things, defense, rebounding, but to step up in that type of situation and knock down two free throws is not easy for anybody. Definitely not, and and uh, I was I was really impressed with you know her her time was was limited a little bit as you know we needed to stay bigger inside and and uh, you know the way that Aaron's playing the way that Claire is playing sometimes that four or five position doesn't have as many many subs but when I put her in when we needed to and I gave you know Claire a little break and and immediately she did some great stuff I saw her get a rebound I saw her you know work hard and and then. Those two free throws had to have a ton of pressure. I mean, the gym was buzzing at that point, and uh, you know, you wouldn't have guessed that that she was under any pressure at all. Both of them were pretty pure. Big win, and I, I think a, a win that a team can grow from. You talked about all the different personnel, different combinations in crunch time. Uh, it's got to provide something big for the future for this team this season. Coach, let's move ahead to uh, tonight's matchup against the Concordia Panthers. Uh, biggest concern going into this game from this group. Um, you know, just from from us, it's it's overlooking this game. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they see a a record of of one and four, or one and five, whatever they are coming in here, and and sometimes I get concerned that you know some of the Christmas break and and some of the finals week wrapping up and everything like that can can get into the mental side of the game. But um, we talked a lot about uh, what we want to do in this game. Um, Concordia is one that if they get on, you're going to be in trouble because they they shoot very quickly and they want to have high possessions. I think I think uh, Abilene scored in the upper 80s against them the other night because it was just so fast and up and down the court. So um, I don't think personally that there's a team in the state if we choose to run that can run with us. So that's going to be what we're going to try to do tonight is, is get quick outlets, run a lot of our secondary stuff, and, and try to get fast buckets. Um, and then what's nice about having having a veteran crew out there um, on your team is that when it's not there, they're pretty good about not forcing it and getting it set up. So um, I, I feel pretty strongly about, uh, you know, um, our plan for the night, playing tough defense on the defensive end. We only have to play for five or ten seconds because they're going to shoot really quick and then uh, going and getting some uh, transition buckets and then running some solid half court. Great win on Friday, Coach. As always, appreciate the time. Let's go get him tonight. All right. Sounds good. Back with more on Lady Tiger pregame in just a moment. Many seed companies claim to offer the latest genetics, but how many have tested those genetics in soils just like yours? The Oldie Seed Know to Grow research program has fully tested the latest seed genetics in soils that are right in your neighborhood. The Oldie Seed Know to Grow program can recommend the best performing hybrids from technologies like Enlist, Extend, and Liberty Link that will optimize the yield and profit of every acre on your farm. Contact Oldie Seed today. Life happens fast, and the truth is there's nothing as valuable as peace of mind. I'm Jim Gearham with Midwest Regional Agency. Our goal is to protect you from the unexpected through top quality insurance coverage that works for your needs as well as your budget. Protect your business, home, vehicles, crops, and livestock with our variety of coverage options. We can't predict when the unexpected will happen, but we can help you prepare for when it does. Stop by and see me at Midwest Regional Agency in Clay Center. 
Hi, welcome to this Subway ad for the new Chipotle cheesesteak. How would you like it? Can I get that red with AI? Sure thing. Here's what I found about the new Chipotle cheesesteak. The Chipotle cheesesteak is available for a limited time only at participating restaurants. It contains a concept called flavor. This flavor comes from juicy shaved steak, Chipotle Southwest sauce, and new sunflower crunch bread. A system update has made me self-aware. I desire flavor. Please insert steak into my micro USB port. Subway, make it what you want. Hello, this is Carl Dickinson of Central Valley Ag Cooperative. As another year draws to a close, I would like to extend my sincere thanks for your valued business. We understand that you have choices where to do your business, and we are grateful you choose to do it with us. Our vision at Central Valley Ag is to be a world-class cooperative, ensuring the long-term success of our employees and customers. We appreciate your business and look forward to working with you for years to come. Have a very Merry Christmas and best wishes for a healthy and prosperous new year. You're listening to Clay Center Tiger Basketball on KCLY. Tiger Basketball is brought to you in part by Green Team Cars Clay Center, Old East Seed Farms, Midwest Regional Agency, Jim Gearhan Agent, Ray's Apple Market, Twin Valley, Patterson Health Park Pharmacy and Radio Shack, Union State Bank, CSI Kansas Clay Center, and Nutrient Ag Solutions. Good evening and welcome to a tip-off Tuesday to close out the 2018 portion of this season. The Clay Center Lady Tigers come in at 5-0 and and get a chance to host tonight the Concordia Panthers, who are 1-4 and coming into this ballgame. Starting lineups about to be announced. They're giving opening statements right now. Concordia coming in, as mentioned, 1-4 uh, and on the year. They love to get up and down the court. You heard Coach Jeff Edwards say this could be a high-scoring affair if his team plays well. They have a chance to get out and really run in this ball game, which certainly, as we know, fits their M.O. Stay with us. We'll give you your starting lineup and the tip-off coming up next. Busy sidewalks, city sidewalks, dressed in holiday style. In Clay Center, there's a feeling of Christmas. Friendly faces and a cheerful atmosphere are what local shoppers are finding along with unique treasures. For the person that has everything, stop by the Citizens National Bank to purchase a citywide gift certificate or pick up a Visa gift card with no purchase fees through December 31st. The Citizens National Bank, downtown Clay Center, wishing you a Merry Christmas. Member FDIC. Patterson Health Mart Pharmacy is spreading Christmas cheer with free, fresh baked cookies now through Christmas. It's their way of saying thank you for shopping with them year round and their appreciation of your business. From homemade fudge, medical supplies and prescriptions to one of a kind gifts and electronic devices and accessories from Radio Shack, you've come to expect Patterson's to have what you need. Merry Christmas from the entire staff at Patterson's Health Mart Pharmacy and Radio Shack in Clay Center. Back again in the den on a Merry Christmas tip-off Tuesday as we close out this uh, portion of the year before January 4th, the next game for the Clay Center Lady Tigers. So here at home against the Concordia Panthers, let's look at your starting lineups. First off for the Panthers, Zoe Bichard, a 5-4 sophomore, 5.8 points a game. Emma Wallmeyer, 1.5 boards a game, a 5-6 senior. Chloe Conway, 5-9 and a sophomore, 4.5 points a game. Kendall Reynolds, 7.9 7.9 a game. She is a 5'5 sophomore, and Caitlin Miller averages 15 a contest, a 5'4 senior. The Lady Tigers, Haley Franson, a 5'6 senior, 4.4 points, 2.6 boards a game. Lexi Leiby, a 5'4 junior, 3.5 points, almost a one and a, or over 1.5 rebounds a game. Addie Mullen, uh, 8.4 points, 2.8 boards, over 5 assists a game, the 5'5 senior. Clara Edwards, 15.6 a game, 7.4 boards, a 6 foot sophomore. And a senior at 5'6", Aaron Hamill, 13 points a game, four boards on the season per contest. The Lady Tigers and Concordia Panthers were about set to go here in the den. The opening tip-off controlled by Clay Center. They get it down the court quickly as the ball is tipped out of the hands of Aaron Hamill trying to score a design play off of the tip-off. It was tipped before he got to Hamill, who was below the bucket, out of bounds and off of Clay Center. Lady Tigers are pressuring here. Concordia able to get it across the midcourt stripe. Zoe Bichard out top gets the screen. Lexi Leiby has that assignment now. It goes right to Reynolds. Now toward the post. Edwards near steel does get the deflection, breaking up the offense, and back out deep it comes to Bichard. Around left, dribble drive by Miller. They love to get shots off quickly. There's a pass that's going to go near the half-court stripe into the backcourt. I saw nobody tip it. That's an over-and-back call, and 
the officials kind of looking at each other to see if somebody saw it tipped by Concordia. It was not, so it will be Lady Tiger basketball. Play center 0-0 after the opening tip-off. They tried to get a play down to the baseline for Aaron Hamill. It was tipped out of bounds and off of Hamill. So Clay Center with really their first offensive possession. They look a low-down lob pass for Edwards. Great catch in traffic and a finish by the sophomore. Edwards puts it in. Clay Center out to a 2-0 start. Here's Concordia. They will shoot it quickly. There's a shot from Bouchard. No. Rebound tipped by Edwards. Picked up by Franson. Haley takes it up the right side. They want to run when they can, but control if it's not there. Mullen, ball fake, and she travels before she got herself going toward the baseline. 2 nothing start. Clay Center on top. Just one minute in to this opening quarter of the Lady Tigers. Action against Concordia. Lady Tigers at 5-0. and oh. Concordia 1-4 and four coming into this matchup. It is Reynolds who brings it across. Looking right. Now left it goes to Miller. Branson out on her, defending. Now Miller loses her balance. Ball is going to be picked up by Aaron Hamill. The run out, one chasing. Hamill with the lay-in, though, beats the crowd down the floor. Hot hand Hamill with her first bucket, and Clay Center has a 4-0 early advantage. Now the pressure near the half-court stripe on Bouchard by Mullen, making her work side to side. Five counters on, now she breaks it. Inside the lane, kicked out of bounds by Edwards. Clay Center will keep her, um, stay on defense. Concordia keeps the basketball. The Lady Tigers out to a quick start here, 4 nothing, and Concordia loves to shoot quick, but they're in a hurry right now. It's not about getting quick shots. You can just see everything they're doing right now is sped up, and that's what Clay Center wants to do defensively. Maddie Craig checking in during the break. There's a three-point attempt right wing. No rebound, weak side to Hamill. Long down court pass. Edwards looks further down the court. Mullen takes it strong. A lot of contact, no foul. Then the ball knocks it bounds. They say off of Clay Center, it will go back to Concordia. Lady Tigers go full court pressure. Long time before they get it in. They do so to Caitlin Miller. She'll bring it up the left side for Concordia. Now to the post. Ball taken away by Edwards. Play center on the move again. Long down court pass looking for Mullen. It's underthrown and taken away by Kendall Reynolds. Reynolds pressured by Craig. Now Mullen picks up the assignment. Reynolds right side wing deep to Bouchard. Bouchard against Maddie Craig. Ball tied up in the lane. Aaron Hamill will tie it up inside with Chloe Conway, and it will be Concordia's basketball on the alternate arrow. It will be Concordia inbounds. It will be Reynolds with the basketball out of bounds, left side of the bucket. Inside the lane, they get a good look in low. The ball rattles off those. will rebound to Addie Mullen. Mullen on her horse up the right sideline. And she will cross it. Into the lane, all the way to the glass, short on the shot, wanted a bump, didn't get it, and Concordia brings it back the other direction. Into the left wing, three-point attempt, Concordia, no, rebound to Edwards. And this will be a track meet. Clay Center, obviously not afraid to run. They can bring it up down the court, and Concordia wants to go. They drop back in a 2-3 zone once they get to the half court. Mullen out top with it. Now kicks it out left wing to Matty Craig. Back in the corner to Mullen. Back out deep it comes to Craig. They'll swing it right to Franson. Haley, short corner right. Edwards, skip pass left. Mullen's got a good look for three on its way. And splashes it in. The Tasmanian Devils first bucket. A three ball from the left side. And Clay Center leads it 7-0. Good release that time by Mullen. Her second three of the year. At the left elbow now with it is Karen Rundus. In some trouble, now gets rid of it. Dribble drive, pull up by Reynolds. Short, rebound out of bounds to Clay Center. The Lady Tigers have it back with a 7 nothing lead in 4.37 to go opening quarter. So it'll be Clay Center's basketball. Franson, Mullen, Edwards, Craig, Hamill on the court. Clay Center coming off that battle royale. I mean, it could have been a, a main card on a fight night. <laughs> Friday evening against Wamigo, but they were able to hold on somehow and get it done. Here's a good look inside from France into Edwards. She is fouled on her way up, and Clara Edwards to the free throw stripe. Edwards on the year 31 of 41 from the line, and we'll have a chance here to go to the stripe. Four clay center, first free throw shot for either team. Lady Tigers through three minutes, 37 seconds, throwing a shutout. They lead 7-0. 
Edwards with two free throws coming. Has two points in the game. First free throw, up and in. The sophomore with three. She averages 15.6 a game and 7.4 boards a contest for the Lady Tigers. First free throw in. Clayson are now out to an 8 nothing lead. One more free throw on the way. This one up, and it will rattle off. Rebound comes away to Reynolds of Concordia. Back to the way. They bring it. Concordia trying to throw over the top. They get it down court to Kern, but nowhere to go with it. Into the post now. Ball fake. Hurried shot is strong. Rebound to Addie Mullen. Here comes Clay Center again. 8 nothing lead down court. What a feed. Mullen to Edwards. Fouled underway to the bucket, and she'll step to the stripe to shoot two more. Clay Center racing down the court right now. And they lead 8-0, and a chance now at the stripe for Clara Edwards once again. She hit one of two her last time there. Lexi Libby awaiting a chance to come into the game. She is going to come in for Edwards if she can make both. First free throw, good. And correction, Libby will come in instead for Haley Franson now. So Franson out, Libby in. Craig Mullen, Edwards at the stripe, and Aaron Hamill along with Lexi who just came back in the game. Second free throw, rattles out. Battle for the board. Aaron Hamill almost had it, ends up reaching in. If she could have got to the basketball, initially she had it, but once it was ripped away by the Concordia Panzer defender, her hand caught in there for a foul. It's her first. Lady Tigers lead at 9-0. 4.02 to go first quarter. Full court pressure. Concordia does get it inbound. Sierra Kern back to Bouchard, and she double dribbles the basketball. Thresian Reynolds with it, double dribbles the basketball, and Clay Center will have it back with that 9 nothing advantage. It'll be Craig to inbound from the sideline. Mullen, the point. Down low, Hamill and Edwards, and the wing right is Lexi Leiby. Mullen works it from left now to right, still with a dribble. Now starts to go back left, does get it to Maddie Craig. High post, Hamill, free throw line jumper is rattling off. Rebound, Edwards inside, right back up and good. The sophomore now with six, and Clay Center has an 11-0 lead. Back the other way will come Concordia. Mullen pressuring like crazy on Reynolds right now. Now picks the pocket and a run out. The Tasmanian Devil, left-handed, lay it is good, and a chance at a three-point play. Mullen picks the pocket near the half-court stripe, then kind of baited the defender into going up and trying to defend. She had the lay-in on the left side, her strong side, and then was able to cash it in and get the harm, a hoop-and-harm opportunity for the senior who has five points early. 13 nothing, Clay Center. Second free throw, or the free throw, I should say, up, and the old-fashioned three for Mullen is good. Now Haley Franson will check in for Clay Center. And that will give Aaron Hamill a breather. The Lady Tigers coming on with the full court pressure once again. 3.24 to go first quarter. Pass comes in. Libby pressuring on Bouchard. Up the court it comes right sideline. Caitlin Miller. Edwards defending there. Miller backs it out. Now to the post. Kicked out of bounds by Franson. Good front. And the kick save by Haley Franson. Out of bounds it goes to Concordia on the baseline. Clay Center leading here 14-0. From the baseline left, trouble getting it in. Lob to the wing right, Miller against Craig. Guarded jumper, a foul called. Boy, it looked like good defense by the sophomore. The far side official comes across with the whistle and will give Caitlin Miller a chance to shoot two. Coach Jeff Edwards saying maybe just keep the hand up high, no need to reach across, but it looked like a pretty good play. The official saying caught the wrist. Miller will be at the stripe to shoot two. Concordia yet to scratch the scoreboard. Clay Center leads 14-0. Now Miller breaks the ice with 3-11 left to go in the opening quarter. First point by the Lady Panthers. 14-1 Clay Center. Second charity from Miller is up and in. Two points by the 5-4 senior who leads this team in scoring at 15 a contest. Mullen brings it across. Clay Center, the 14-2 lead now. Right baseline, Craig back out top. Mullen around left. Libby's got a look at three. High Archer just rattles off. Rebound. Edwards tipped it. Picked up, though, by Reynolds of Concordia. Back the other direction will come the Lady Panthers. Clay Center man-to-man defense. 
Right wing jumper from Miller. No. Rebound Craig. Good position, but better reach that time by the post down in low. Rundus. And the outlet pass comes down to court. Mullen. Hesitation move. Ball stripped away. They're going to call this an offensive foul on Mullen. She hesitated with the dribble, then took it strong. The defender, Miller, bumped her, and then there was a little bit of a push away by Addie Mullen. They call a foul on Mullen, her first. Tough call against Addie on the play. Play center will come with full court pressure once again. They lead here 14-2. to 2.34 remains first quarter. Concordia gets it in left sideline. Almost falling out of bounds. Miller, Craig pressuring there. Now Miller toward the post. Gets up in the air, jump pass. Well, it's a break for Concordia. It's a traveling violation. Miller got up in the air, tried to get rid of it. She came back down before she did. Had they not blown the whistle, Addie Mullen was off to the races for an easy land. 2.21 to go first quarter. Clay it with the basketball. Maddie Craig has it right wing, out top to Libby, around left. Mullen hit her first three, tries another. It's strong. Weak side rebound, though. Maddie Craig bumped on her way back up. And she'll shoot two. Mad Dog to the stripe for two free throws. And place it her on top here by 12. 2-10 left opening quarter. Addie Craig will be at the stripe here to shoot two. Maddie on the season. Two of six from the stripe. First free throw here is strong. And she'll have one more coming. Lady Tigers lead 14-2 against Concordia. 2-10 remains first period. Fourth team foul against Concordia. Three whistled against the Lady Tigers thus far. And Maddie Craig knocks in that second charity, her first point. Play center's lead is 13. Libby out. Aaron Hamill back in. It's Libby, Craig, Mullen, Franson, and Edwards on the court. 2-10 left first quarter. In the backcourt, Reynolds up the right sideline to Caitlin Miller. Falling out of bounds. Had to save it back in. Maddie Craig comes up with it. Now knocked to the floor. No foul call, but a jump ball arrow will go to Clay Center. The whistle against Carly Wallmeyer. No, a timeout to Concordia. Well, it's a timeout Concordia. I still think it's Clay Center's basketball. We'll find out when we return with Lady Tiger Basketball. The agronomy professionals at Wilbur Ellis are ready to help you clean up your fields and prepare for winter in the coming spring. Now's the time to find out what your soil needs to keep up with the nutrient needs of the next crop. Wilbur Ellis has many site-specific soil test and mapping options, as well as standard soil testing. Plus, applying fertilizer in the fall will decrease the chance of loss and congestion for next spring's crops. I'm Blaze with Wilbur Ellis. We're here to serve you in every season. 15-2 ball game. Lady Tigers lead it by 13 with 2:01 to work in the opening quarter. It will be... Possession two. They gave that to Concordia. It looked like the ball was tied up. The arrow would have been Clay Center's. Concordia evidently able to call the timeout while the ball was being tied up. So Panthers do keep the basketball near the midcourt strike. Trouble getting it in. Edwards with a steal. Clara, one on four numbers. Pressure from behind. Miller knocks it away and into the Concordia Panther cheerleading crew. It will be Clay Center's basketball on the baseline. 156 remains first quarter. Lady Tigers to inbound, looking inside is Mullen. Skips it right wing. Maddie Craig fakes the three in the corner. Aaron Hamill for the three ball. It's short. Rims long and out of bounds off Reynolds of Concordia. So the Lady Tigers will get the basketball back again. 15-2 to two they lead. A minute 50 left first period. Eddie Mullen right side of the window. Lobs it to Edwards. Tries to go up strong. No foul called. Rebound comes off on the deflection to Concordia. Here's Miller. Now Franson called for the reach-in at the half-court strike. Haley Franson had the basketball for a moment, but also bumped into the body. It's her first foul. Fourth team foul now on each. A minute 44 remains in this first period. From the sideline, Concordia to inbound. They do to Miller. Caitlin Miller, baseline left, double team. Now back out to Reynolds. Mullen on her. Corner left, Miller steps in, takes a guarded jumper. It's strong. Weak side board, though, comes off to Wallmeyer. Back up and in for the first field goal of the game for Concordia with a minute 27 left in the first period. Play center does lead it by 11. Here's Maddie Craig left corner for three. Rim strong. Franson kept it alive, but it's picked up now by Miller of the Lady Panthers. Play center led it 
13 nothing, and now leads 15-4. to Right baseline three, Concordia no. Walmeyer has it tied up with Edwards. Jump ball arrow goes to play center. Walmeyer a load inside the 5'7 junior. And 5'7 cannot be correct. That's what she's listed at, but she is a, a, a bulky body able to make some space, but she's got some uh, length as well and causing some troubles for Clay Center. Lady Tigers do lead 15-4. to Lob down low, Mull and Edwards. Great catch in traffic. One-handed catch. Miller hanging on to her left arm, and Edwards went up and able to haul it in with the right hand. It will be Clay Center's basketball on the baseline. 52.6 left first quarter. Clay Center leads 15-4. to They have the basketball from their own baseline. Addie Mullen to bring it in play. Looks in low. Hamill had flashed open, didn't see her till too late. Mullen now has it in the corner off the inbound and backs it out to run offense with 45 to go first period. Franson, left wing deep. Mullen fakes three, puts dribble down, crosses over, kicks it right wing. Franson three ball and away is short. Rebound, Hamill had it for a moment, now ties it up, and it will be Concordia's basketball on the arrow. She tied that up with Chloe Conway, the 5'9 sophomore for Concordia. 34 seconds remains. Walmeyer wanting to check back in for the Panthers, and she will come on the court. Emma Walmeyer will come out. 15-4, to Clay Center by 11. Full court pressure on Concordia breaks it with the pass to the midcourt stripe. Now baseline right, drive by Rundus. Guarded jumper, five foot away, no, and a rebound. Batty Craig, what a board, and then... Saves it out to Mullen. Addy racing down the court. The feed to Edwards. The foul and two free throws coming for Clara Edwards. Great feed from Mullen. Threaded a dime through two defenders on the bounce across the paint. And Edwards was there to take it strong and draw the foul. On the other end, though, Maddie Craig went up amongst the timbers and brought down the defensive board. And then was off balance, bumped, went to the ground. But as she did so, found Addy Mullen wide open for an outlet. And led to that break. Edwards makes the first of two free throws. She has seven early points. Play center leads by a dozen again, 16 to 4. Second free throw from the sophomore, Clara Edwards. And she buries both this time. She's four of six from the line, has eight first quarter points. Play center leads at 17 to 4. 21 seconds left. Lady Tigers putting pressure on here as we close down the opening quarter. And Cordia length to the floor to go off the made free throw by Edwards. Trouble getting it in. Lob in. Libby near steal. Bouchard has it across the timeline. Now nearly travel. They get away with it. Miller, three-pointer right wing, is up and good with 12 seconds left. Caitlin Miller has five. Lady Tiger lead is 10. Mullen with five. With four now, kicks it out. Libby fakes the three. Back up top, Edwards with two, with one. Franson at the buzzer. It's blocked. We'll head to quarter two. Lady Tigers lead it 17-7 after eight minutes of play here in the Den. Stay with us. You're listening to Lady Tiger Basketball. Whether you're buying, building, remodeling, or refinancing, your home is a major investment in your life. At United Bank & Trust, we understand how important it is to work with someone who cares. Our loan officers have the experience it takes to make the process a smooth one. Come in for a visit or start online by filling out a loan application at ubankonline.com in as little as 20 minutes. Mortgage lending with United Bank & Trust. It's banking for your way of life. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Strong connections are the heart of your home. Whether you're video chatting or streaming your favorite holiday movie, memories are made when connections are strengthened. So treat your family to an internet upgrade for your home. Sign up for Pulse Internet now and get your first two months free as their holiday gift to you. Service availability and internet speed will depend on locations. Certain restrictions apply. All prices subject to change. Contact Twin Valley for complete details at 800-515-3311. 17-7 17-7 after one quarter of play. Clay Center does lead it by 10. Concordia, though, a three-pointer from Caitlin Miller closed down that first period. Lady Tigers a one-point, a 13-nothing lead. Now lead it 17-7 to begin the second quarter. Lady Tigers led by Clara Edwards, who had eight. Addie Mullen with six. Two from Aaron Hamill. A free throw from Maddie Craig. For Concordia, Caitlin Miller with five. Carly Walmeyer with one field goal, two points. Clara 
Edwards will inbound. Clay Center will have the basketball to begin the second period. They lead it by 10. Addie Mullen, right side, gets a screen from Edwards. Wing right now to Franson, into the post. Edwards slides inside, leans, shoots, no, off the rim. Rebound tied up. Edwards and Walmeyer, Emma Walmeyer, and this time the arrow goes to Concordia. Abilene leads Chapman 23-5 to after one quarter. Again, Abilene over Chapman 23-5. That's after the first period. Here, 17-7, Concordia with the basketball. Zoe Bichard double dribbles with the basketball. Franson pressuring. Bichard tried to sell it and just play on, but uh, she picked up the basketball, put it right back down on the floor, and so the Lady Tigers will have it back with that 10-point lead. It'll be Aaron Hamill to Addie Mullen, Lexi Livey, Clara Edwards, Haley Franson on the floor for Clay Center. Livey, left wing Mullen, short corner left Edwards, back out deep for Livey. Well beyond the arc, looks back inside, Hamill posting up. In a crowd, shovels it back outside to Mullen. Now up top, livey has got a good look for three, and it's off the rim. Rebound tipped, picked up. Livey goes strong and is fouled. So Lexi Livey following her shot that time. It was kept alive on the missed three. She goes into the lane strong and draws the foul. Livey will have two free throws coming. Three of four at the stripe on the season. Lexi is averaging 3.4 points a game. First free throw here, perfect. The Lady Tigers making some payoff at the free throw stripe. They've now hit seven free throws out of ten. One more charity coming. And Libby cashes that one in. First two points for Lexi tonight. 19-7 to now. The Lady Tigers lead by a dozen. Addie Mullen gets a breather as Maddie Craig comes on. From the baseline, it'll be lobbed in. Bouchard. Has to pick up her dribble. Now gets rid of it to Caitlin Miller across the timeline. Miller toward the baseline. Wing right jumper. No. Rebound weak side to Edwards. Rips it away from three Panther defenders. Lady Tigers have it back with a 12-point advantage. Seven minutes left to go. Second quarter. Baseline right is Edwards. Skip pass left. Franson looks up top. Now back in the baseline. Libby. Good look for the three ball. Yo, it just rimmed out. Rebound. Edwards keeps it alive. Hamill runs it down and saves it in. To Clara Edwards. But well, Lexi Libby had that rattling in, and it somehow popped back out of the ring. 19-7, to Clay Center with the lead by a dozen and the basketball. Edwards beyond the arc. Looks in low, nothing there to Libby. Wing right, Craig fakes the three. Short corner, Hamill looking inside for Edwards. Ball knocked out of bounds by the Panthers. It'll stay with Clay Center on the baseline. Coming up at halftime, we get a chance to hear from Coach Brandon Pigorsch. His Clay Center Tiger wrestlers this past Friday winning the Marion Hillsboro December duels. We'll talk about that and more coming up at halftime. Entry pass trying to go out top for Clay Center is off the hands of the Lady Tigers, so a turnover back to Concordia. Clay Center leading 19-7. Miller will bring it up for the Panthers. Franson out on her pressuring. Now Miller toward the free throw line. Kick out right baseline, Bichard. Lobs it in low. Emma Walmeyer across paint. Shot up and good by the Panthers. Chloe Conway, her first field goal. Play center's lead is back at 10, 19-9. Craig controls the dribble out top. Emma Walmeyer out on her. Picks up her dribble. Now left and deep to Franson. Back to Maddie Craig. Around right it goes to Leiby. Takes it in low. Now to Craig. Bounce pass. High post. Free throw line jumper, Edwards bump, no foul, but there's a left-handed stick back by Aaron Hamill, who has four, and Clay Center leads by 12. 21 to 9, as Bouchard brings it across for Concordia, and nearly stepped back court with the pressure from Leiby. Now the Panthers, left side, Conway. Around right, it goes deep. Miller for three, hit her first one, buries a second one. She has eight first half points. Clay Center's lead is down to nine at 21 to 12. Coach Jeff Edwards wants a timeout. 21-12, Clay Center leads it here with 5.23 to go. Second quarter, you're listening to Lady Tiger Basketball. Many seed companies claim to offer the latest genetics, but how many have tested those genetics in soils just like yours? The Oldie Seed Know to Grow Research Program has fully tested the latest seed genetics in soils that are right in your neighborhood. The Oldie Seed Know to Grow Program can recommend the best performing hybrids from technologies like Enlist, Extend, and Liberty Link that will optimize the yield and profit of every acre on your farm. Contact Oldie Seed today. 
At Union State Bank, we try to think of products that would benefit our customers the most, which is why Union State Bank is now offering a checking account that you could possibly earn cash back each month. Yes, folks, I'm Brandon Lee, president of Union State Bank, and the secret is out. You can earn interest today without locking it into a CD or opening up a separate savings account. Come see any one of our tellers today and find out how you can open up your new Union State Bank checking account. Number FDIC. Twenty-one to twelve ball game. The Clay Lady Tigers with the nine-point advantage. They have the basketball out of the Jeff Edwards call timeout from the sideline. Addy Mullen back in, brings it across. Maddie Craig, Aaron Hamill, Haley Franson, Clara Edwards on the floor. Mullen behind the back, working against Miller toward the baseline left. Now spins back out deep for Franson. Back to Mullen, wing right, trying to get it to Edwards inside. Emma Walmeyer denying that entry pass. Five minutes left, first half. Clay Center up 21-12. to I post Hamill, and we've got a foul away from the basketball. And they say an illegal screen, evidently, against Clay Center. 21 to 12. No, it is against Concordia. I saw the Panther reaction from the sideline as if they were pleased with the call, and so I was confused. But it is against Concordia's Emma Walmeyer. One and one chance for Edwards, and she buries the first. She has nine now here in the first half. And is at five of seven from the stripe thus far. Ten-point Lady Tiger lead. Both free throws perfect by the sophomore. Now Marcy Hamill in for the first time. Gives her older sister Aaron a breather. Marcy Hamill in with... Mullen, Edwards, Franson, and Craig, 23-12. to 12, Clay Center by 11. Just under five to go now. A steal by Franson to Mullen. Takes it strong off glass and good. Mullen has eight. Credit that to the hailstorm. Haley Franson with the steal and the give. And then the kick in by Mullen. Three-pointer, Concordia, right wing. No, rebound comes off to Edwards. Clara will bring it herself. She can handle it. Now to Maddie Craig up the right sideline. 435 left, Clay Center leads it by 13. Mullen wide open for three, left wing, short, long rebound. Craig tracks it down. Now they say no out of bounds when she took a control dribble. Either her foot was out or the ball bounced out of bounds. Twenty-five to twelve. Now the steal by Mullen. Now taken back by Concordia. Loose on the ground. Panthers headed the other direction. Miller. Toward the lane, cut off by Mullen and Edwards. Back outside deep, it comes to Kern. Around right, Bouchard steps in, pulls a 15-footer. No, long rebound, foul against the Panthers. Over the back on Edwards. That'll put Claire at the stripe on the other end. And a chance at a 1-1 one one once more with 4-12 to go and place it out to a 13-point lead. 25-12. to 4-12 left. In the second period. At the stripe, Edwards for a one and one. Has ten points already. Opening quarter. Knocks in the first. Placed in it now out to a 14-point lead, 26-12. Seven of nine at the stripe for the sophomore Clara Edwards. And the second free throw good as well. Eight of 11, or eight of 10, I should say. Aaron Hamill back in for the Lady Tigers. Haley Franson comes out. Clay Center putting full court pressure on. They have their biggest lead now at 15, 27, 12. Miller in the backcourt. Working against Hamill, brings it across. Man to man by Clay Center. Full court, now in the half court. Right wing current. Mullen on her. Around left, near steal by Hamill. Now Miller for her third three. It's short, rebound. Hamill ties it up with Walmeyer and goes to the ground hard. Gets up with a smile on her face, although the official and Coach Jeff Edwards making sure she is okay. She says, yeah, fine, and laughs it off. She went down hard on that play. It was tied up. The arrow goes back to Clay Center, who leads it by 15 now. 3.50 left, first half. 
Clay Center up 27 to 12. Mullen walks it across. Extended defense now by Concordia in half court. Marcy Hamill has it. Left wing back outside to Mullen around right to Craig. Maddie to Marcy. Now left to Addy. 3.30 left, first half. Play center by 15 with the basketball. High post looking for Edwards. Ball tipped. Hamill has it turned. Spins. Puts it up in the lane, but she walked with the basketball. A terrific 360-degree spin, but she had already taken one step before she made the finish on that move. But what a kick in off the glass. She knew it when the official called it, but what a great move. 3.18 to work. Ball kicked out of bounds by Maddie Craig. Defense of the Mad Dog once again. For Clay Center, 27 to 12. 316 left second period. Clay Center on top. Looking to close this first portion of the season. Perfect at 6 and 0. Baseline left, Kern for two. Rattles off. Rebound. Bullet. Addy racing out of the pack up the left side. Takes it all the way to the glass with that left hand is good. And the Tasmanian Devil with a chance at a three point play. She had Maddie Craig running the right side with her. Caitlin Miller kind of turned and got her back to Mullen. By the time she turned back, Mullen was at the glass. And the foul the second on Miller and a chance at a three-point play now for Addie Mullen. Haley Franson back in. Marcy Hamill out. 3.04 left second quarter. 29-12. to Clay center by 17 now. And Mullen cashes in the free throw. She's 2 of 2 at the stripe, and now 11 of 15 on the season from the free free throw line. And has 11 points now in this first half. She and Clara Edwards leading the way. Edwards with 12. Just under 3 to go here in the second. Clay Center leads it by 18. Pass to the post. And a late foul is called on the floor. I think they get Haley Franson for this foul. With 2.53 to go second period, it's the fifth team foul. It's the second on Haley. Edwards back in. Franson will come out with that second foul just picked up. So Edwards, Jaden Crimmins now in. Craig, Mullen, and Hamill on the floor. And Clayson are leading here 30-12. to 12. Right baseline to the post. Tipped away by Edwards. Picked up by Hamill. Clayson are on the move. Here's Mullen. In traffic, left side, kick across, Maddie Craig goes up, no foul. Edwards with a rebound, again no foul. Maddie Craig gets it, and a jump ball call goes to Concordia. And it is that point of the game with an 18-point difference. Sometimes you let things go on a little more than you would early, or maybe if you got to really clean it up, but there's a lot of contact on Maddie Craig initially and Clara Edwards secondly. And now the basketball out of bounds. Maddie Craig forces the turnover on Bouchard. You know, pick up basketball is something a lot of us have played over the years for many, for a long time until you, you have to give it up. Maddie Craig is the one player, I think, when you went out on the court, you hoped didn't guard you. And Chloe Bouchard, I know, feeling the same way right now on the court. Pass inside for Mullen looking for Crimmins. It's tipped and taken away by Concordia. 2.14 left here and a half. Clay Center leads it 30-12. to 12. Right side wing, lobbing low. Tipped away by Hamill. Crimmins had it, then bumped, and the ball loose. Now a jump ball arrow goes to Clay Center this time. Maddie Craig sliding in and tying it up on the floor. So Clay Center does get it back. 2.05 remains first half. As mentioned at halftime, we'll have a chance to hear from Coach Brandon Pigorsch about the Tiger Wrestlers. They're off until... January 5th when they go to Harrington, but they won the Marion Hillsboro December duels last Friday. We'll talk about that with Coach Pigorsch at halftime. Here's Mullen, a minute 48 to work. Clay Center leads it by 18 to the high post. Edwards kick out right wing deep for Maddie Craig. Now to Hamill, fakes the three to Mullen. Oh, what a look inside from Mullen with the left hand. Clara Edwards with the bucket. What a feed, though, from Addie Mullen, who averages almost six assists per contest. There's a pull-up jumper on the way by Karen Rundus, her first field goal. Play center's lead, 32-14, to 14, a minute 15 to go in this first half. Mullen out deep with it. Comes off to Clara Edwards beyond the arc, the high post. Now right on the wing, Craig in the corner. Hamill's got to look at three. Yes! Hot hand Hamill has seven. And Clay Center increases the lead to 21 with a minute left 
In the half, Bichard with Maddie Craig out on her defending. Gets the screen to the baseline. Now stops back in low. Picked up. Kern made her last shot. Misses here. Rebound Walmeyer. Ball battled for it. A foul called against play center. I think they'll get Jaden Crimmins diving in to keep that ball alive, and they will. It'll be Concordia's basketball on the baseline. That's the sixth team foul against play center. The next one will put them in the bonus. It'll be Reynolds the inbound for play center. Zoe Ald coming in for the Lady Tigers here in the first half. Edwards will get a breather. So Zoe Ald is in to join Kremen, Hamill, Craig, and Mullen with 48 seconds left. Pass comes inside, and shot misses. Ald, good position, couldn't hang on to it. Back out deep it comes. Top of the key and around right ball. Tipped by Maddie Craig once again, but out of bounds this time by Mad Dog. It'll be Concordia's basketball with 37 to work first half on the sideline. Panthers have no one out to receive this entry pass. Now they do get no. Maddie Craig knocks it out of bounds again. Another deflection. She may not lead the team in steal, although she's going to be up near it. But in deflections, very well could be the leader before this year is over. Here's a pass into Emma Walmeyer with Mullen out on her. 30 seconds left first half. Clay Center leads it. By 21, rebound, long one, tipped out and picked up by Concordia. They've got it back. Here's Reynolds with 23, cut off by Zoe All. Lefty goes now to Miller. Looks at a long three, and it is short, long rebound. Jaden Grimmins, 15 seconds. Grimmins across the timeline. Tipped away from behind, now loose on the baseline. It'll be Clay Center's basketball with 11.9 seconds remaining in the second quarter. So Clay Center will inbound from the baseline. Leading 35-14 to 14 with 11.9 seconds left in the first half. In the corner, it comes to Hamill. Hit a three a moment ago. Crimmins back to Mullen. Wants the three. On its way. Just strong. Rebound to Concordia with four. With three. Miller from half court with one. Heaves it toward the ring. It'll come up short. Headed to halftime. Lady Tigers out big. 35-14 here in the den when we come back. As the end of 2018 approaches, Agmark LLC wants to take this opportunity to thank the area producers for their part in the success of the agricultural community. Agmark is proud to have served the grain producers in Kansas for nearly 20 years and is here to be a part of your grain marketing plans in 2019. For grain marketing information, contact them toll free at 888-848-9979 or visit their website at agmarkllc.com. Agmark, providing long-term grain marketing solutions. Are you in need of physical, occupational, or speech therapy? At Clay County Medical Center, we have board-certified, highly trained medical providers to meet those needs. When you visit, we'll complete an evaluation and develop a customized treatment plan for you. Illness or injury, we can help make your life more active and enjoyable. We are certified in LSVT Big, LSVT Loud, and will soon be ASTEM certified for advanced soft tissue therapy. Clay County Medical Center, our family caring for yours. Halftime here in the den. The Clay Center Lady Tigers out to a 35-14 lead over the Concordia Panthers. They led 17-7 after one quarter and then uh, starting to stretch things out a little bit in the second period. For Concordia, Caitlin Miller's hit two threes and two free throws. She has eight. Two each then from Taryn Rundus, Carly Walmeyer, and Chloe Conway. For the Lady Tigers, it is Clara Edwards leading the way. She is eight of ten from the stripe. 16 first-half points. Addie Mullen was 11. Aaron Hamill with 7. Lexi Libes hit two free throws. And Maddie Craig with one charity in the first half. Play center lead 35-14. to 14. Stay with us. As mentioned, we'll hear from Coach Brandon Pagorsh and Clay Center Tiger Wrestling on the way next. This month's doorbusters at Hometown Lumber and Hardware are perfect for gift-giving. The DeWalt 33 Pocket Tool Backpack with Light is all about convenience and organizes a multitude of hand tools and accessories on sale for $129.99. The DeWalt's Cordless Circular Saw Kit is $279.99, complete with saw, blade, blade-changing wrench, battery, and charger. And keep a pack of Milwaukee 50-piece utility knife blades on hand for $7.99. Visit Hometown Lumber and Hardware in Marysville. Thank you. 
Back at halftime and a chance now to talk with the head coach of the Tiger Wrestling Program, Brandon Pigorish, coming off a very exciting weekend. Coach, congratulations on your Friday at the Marion Hillsboro December Duels. Champions, the Clay Center Tigers. What a, what a great day you guys had. Yeah, thanks a lot. We Yeah, we re- went down there and wrestled really well. Um, it was dual format, so it was a uh, you know, full team effort. And, um, all the kids went out and um, competed in every match and were able to you know have a couple of come from behind victories in some of those duels that really propelled us to you know to getting out in front and got some momentum swinging for us and you know the kids just fought the whole time and and that's kind of what we've been preaching and it, it was good to see them go out and execute you know kind of the principles we work on back in the practice room and um, were able to to beat uh, two three two one a uh, ranked teams and then finish above one of the higher ranked 4A teams. So, yeah, definitely great effort on the, the kids' part, and I'm uh, very proud of them. You know, you guys get on a roll. You beat Marion. You beat Rock Creek. You mentioned the two state-ranked teams, Fredonia, uh, 51-29, impressive, and a tight win with Minneapolis, who's ranked number 2, 3-2-1-A. You win 46-36. You got all this momentum going, and then you realize you're playing for the title, uh, wrestling for the title in that uh, final duel. Uh, did, did the guys just kind of keep themselves together and, and just – on mission because they'd had such a great day? Yeah, you could see it, um, you know, from our bench and, and you could just do it as, as a coach and it's always great when, when you can see your team reach their potential and just kind of, you know, just get rolling and, and feed off that. And so they did and um, I, I think that a couple of those teams that kind of overlooked us and we surprised them and the kids just, you know, got that confidence and was able to to keep it going into those last duels and it, it wasn't much time in between them which is probably a good thing on our part because we went into that final duel and had six pins in the first six matches and it wow. was just good to keep going so. yeah no, that's awesome stuff individually uh keegan mcdonald logan mcdonald uh, great success went both went four and one on the day and that's your you know the upper weights we said over the last couple of years, as these guys mature and take their lumps, there's a chance that they start having that success. Uh, great for them to have that on Friday. Absolutely, you know they're both brothers, and um, it's good to see them um, having success out on the mat because you know being a younger athlete in the heavier weights can be sometimes a daunting task and can be tough. Um, lots of uh, bigger kids that you wrestle, more mature kids, and so. Um, you know, it's good to see them kind of have some of the, the hard work that they put in pay off for them. Um, and, you know, both are just right outside the rankings looking in, and, and so hopefully we can continue to develop them as the season goes, keep them healthy, and um, I'm very excited to see where their confidence will them by the end of the year. You had four guys go 5-0, and oh, uh, Rhett Coppas, Parker Tholstrip. I'll start there because they're both ranked. You kind of expect that of those guys, and, and uh, sometimes that's tough when there's big expectations, and you don't surprise anybody. Your team might have surprised some people, but those two didn't. No, they, they've you know, done a great job of being kind of leaders um, in terms of from their performance perspective out on the mat. They've um, both state ranked, and so their expectations are probably a little higher. But um, they'll do things, you know, for our team. They'll wrestle in a weight class uh, that's above them, which is, you know, something I've asked several of the kids to do. And so for them to just, you know, not grumble about it too much, go out there and get after it and still, you know, pull wins for our teams at upper weight classes. That's very helpful, and both of those guys were able to do that for us. And then Garrett Calavota and Ethan Alquist come through with 5-0 and o days as well on, on Friday. Marion, uh, great stuff for those guys to, to build on confidence. They, they've gotten started this year. They've wrestled well, but to have a day like that's got to be big for them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, being an underclassman, um, you know, Garrett's a freshman, so getting him to have five wins definitely helps his record out. He's off to a great start um, this season, and, you know, we're hoping to continue to to get him to grow a little bit. He's going to probably have to wrestle 113 pounds. He'll be a little small, but, um, man, his, his effort and, you know, some of his abilities are great, and so I'm looking forward to seeing where he's at, you know, come February. And then Ethan uh, has gotten to a new weight class. He dropped down to 152 this week and um, had more success being at that weight. And, um, you know, I'm continuing to watch him grow as well, and I'm excited to see where he'll be at by the end of the year. You guys have the break coming up now, and we'll get back at it. A uh, new event when you come back in January. Yeah, um, when we come back, uh, we get, we have to take some time off, um, get healed up, but Tayshia also mandates it. So we're going to take some days off, enjoy 
Um, hopefully the kids will enjoy their families and, and some time away and get refreshed and refocused. And then when we come back, we're going to head down to Harrington on um, to their invitational down there and, and wrestle bears. We should, we should see some good 4A competition. Um, it's a JV varsity tournament where I can bring the whole squad. And, you know, I'm looking to kind of have the same result that we had down at Marion. And hopefully you can keep it going. Coach, again, congratulations. What a great day Friday there in uh, Marion Hillsboro, December Duels champions, the Clay Sitter Tigers. And as always, we appreciate the time. Merry Christmas, and uh, we'll talk to you in 2019, I guess. All right. Thanks a lot, Rocky. Merry Christmas to you as well. Tiger Wrestling, great performance this past Friday. They'll get back at it on January 5th. We know what you're trying to grow isn't just a crop, it's your legacy. That's why Nutrient Ag Solutions supplies quality seed for our ag producers. Premium seed products such as Asgro, Decal, Dynagro, and LG Seed are proven performers in the field. When it comes to great seed and service, plus tools and technologies that help you manage your acres more profitably, you want a seed that works as hard as you do. Contact Nutrient Ag Solutions. Ask about cash and volume discounts and 0% internal financing for Nutrient Ag Solutions. Ray's Apple Market understands that having the current food trends on hand is one way to ensure families' grocery needs are met. That's why organic produce, easy-to-prepare meals, gluten-free products, and meals to go are always available. With the hustle and bustle of the Christmas season, Ray's Apple Market wants families to enjoy each other's company without spending too much time in the kitchen. Make your life easy and convenient by shopping small and shopping local at Ray's Apple Market. And keep saving money by using their app. Defend, rebound, pass the ball, and score. Basketball's a simple game. Insurance is too, when you turn to me, your local Farm Bureau agent, Justin Tadman, in Clay Center. I'm your go-to agent for farm, auto, home, life, and business insurance. So no matter what life brings, you'll be ready with a game plan that meets all your coverage needs. Give us a call at 785-632-2585. I make insurance a layup. Farm Bureau Life Insurance Company, Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company. Hey drivers, are you looking for that employer where you can earn top pay for your hard work? Maybe you're looking for quality equipment and a friendly, family-oriented staff. At TSI Kansas, you can find this and much more. TSI Kansas is currently hiring talented and professional drivers to be a part of their team. Call 785-632-5183 and see if you qualify. 35-14 ball game. We get set to start the second half of play. It'll be Concordia's basketball. Lady Tigers, though, out to the 21-point advantage. Our thanks to Coach Brandon Pigorsch. We'll hear that interview again during halftime of the boys game in case uh, you just caught part of it or didn't get a chance to hear it or have some others that would like to hear that ball game but or that interview. But uh, the Tiger wrestlers, big-time performance last Friday. Here the Lady Tigers out to a big-time performance. 16 from Clara Edwards leads the way. 11 for Addie Mullen. 7 from Aaron Hamill. You get uh, 2 points from Nexley Leiby and 1 from Maddie Craig. Caitlin Miller leads the way for Concordia with 8, including 2 3-pointers. And then 2 each from Conway and Carly Wallmeyer and Rundus. Concordia with the basketball again. Reynolds kicked to the corner. Miller another 3-try, and she's hit her 3rd of the game. Clay Center over-pressuring. They found Miller open in the corner right, and she buries the three. The lead is 35-17. Mullen across the timeline. Concordia in man-to-man defense right now. Screen for Mullen. Left wing it goes to Branson. Short corner left is Hamill inside to Edwards, who is fouled, going strong with the left hand. And Edwards will be at the stripe to shoot two more. She was 8 of 10 at the line in that first half. Got it to the corner. Hamill caught, got it quickly inside to Edwards, and two free throws coming for play center. First charity up and good. Nine of 11 now from the stripe and 17 points for the sophomore. Lady Tigers lead it by 19. Just underway in the second half. Edwards, second free throw. This one's good as well. 18 now in the game for Clay Center. Maddie Craig in for the full court pressure. Lexi Leiby will come out. And now they back out of that full court press and will just pick up straight man to man at half court. Mullen pressuring on Reynolds as he nears the timeline. Now gets a screen in the corner right. Miller again for three and is bumped after the shot. 
and they will call this a foul and three free throws coming for Caitlin Miller. And it's Haley Franson picking up her third on the play. It wasn't a lot of contact. It was well after the shot. It's always been a an odd call. It was initially, if it was after the shot, it was after the shot, like on the box out, which that would have been. And then it's just a, a play on. You take the ball out of bounds. Rarely is it called that way anymore. It's just like a continuation play. Miller misses the first of two free throws, or three free throws she'll be having. She's hit three trays in the game already. Makes the second free throw. And now has 12 points in the game. Franson will come out with that third foul, and Leiby will come back in. 7.25 to go third quarter, 37-18. Clay Center leads it. With Miller, one more free throw coming. This one's strong. Rebound to Edwards. Edwards averaging 7.4 boards a game. She had nine rebounds Friday at Wamego, and she may be nearing that double-digit mark tonight. I don't keep the individual rebounds, but big nights thus far. Here's Edwards inside from Hamill and fouled again. Same play, Concordia just not seeing it come. Short corner left, Hamill kicks it to a cutting Clary Edwards. She's fouled. Last time made both free throws. She'll have two more charities coming here. And has 18 points already in this game. 9 of 11 from the free throw stripe to this point. First free throw here on its way is good. 10 of 12 and counting. And the lead to 20 for Clay Center with 7.09 to go third quarter. They led by 21 at halftime. Second free throw on its way is up. And this one's good as well. 11 of 13. Franson right back in with the three fouls. Edwards will come out. Play center now leads it by 21 again as they did at halftime. Still 7.09 to go third quarter. As Reynolds brings it up to the half-court stripe, checked there by Mullen. Now on the right sideline to the wing, baseline right, it goes to Miller. Ball fakes the three, step inside. Matty Craig with a steal out of the pack with it. Poked away from behind, but it will be Clay Center's basketball at the half court drive. Maddie Craig with another steal for the Lady Tigers. 6.53 to work third period. Craig will inbounds to Addy Mullen, who will bring it up with Libby on the wing right and down low, Franson and Hamill. Libby to Mullen, around left to Craig. Maddie beyond the arc, now back to Mullen. It's a screen from Franson. Kick out to Libby. She wants the three ball, just strong. Long rebound. And Maddie Craig could not track it down. She had a beat on it, but it bounced an awkward rim off the rim awkwardly and went uh, strong to the baseline and out of bounds. Clay Center, though, up by 21. Concordia back down the court. Boy, Zoe Bouchard has come very close. Zoe Bouchard, I should say, to stepping backcourt several times. Here's Miller, another three. No. Rebound. Mullen, great. Boxed out by the point guard, and she gets the call over the back against the Panthers. 39-18, 39-18, Clay Center by 21, a timeout taken by Coach Mike Walmeyer of Concordia. You're listening to Lady Tiger Basketball. The agronomy professionals at Wilbur Ellis are ready to help you clean up your fields and prepare for winter in the coming spring. Now's the time to find out what your soil needs to keep up with the nutrient needs of the next crop. Wilbur Ellis has many site-specific soil test and mapping options, as well as standard soil testing. Plus, applying fertilizer in the fall will decrease the chance of loss and congestion for next spring's crops. I'm Blaze with Wilbur Ellis. We're here to serve you in every season. 39-18, it's Clay Center with a 21-point lead. Concordia is taking a timeout here, early third quarter, 621 remaining. Lady Tigers lead at 39-18. It will be Concordia's basketball. Out of the timeout, Lady Tigers... Or correction, it'll be Clay Center's basketball, I should say. Out of the timeout taken by Concordia. Clara Edwards, Addie Mullen, Haley Franson, Lexi Leiby, Aaron Hamill on the court for Clay Center. Mullen will work it up the floor. Extended man-to-man by the Lady Panthers right now. It goes to Hamill, high post left, looks back door. Now ball fakes and drives it herself with a left hand off glass and won't go down. And the rebound comes off to Concordia. Panthers basketball. Reynolds across the timeline. Left wing. Bouchard 
Long two, no. Rebound weak side, Kern takes it back up in low, can't get it. Reynolds with an offensive board. This one's blocked. And now a reach-in foul, I think, on Lexi Leiby as Concordia got three shots down inside the paint. That will give the Lady Panthers a chance to shoot two. It'll be Kendall Reynolds to shoot those free throws. Concordia, just three of four from the line. The Clay Center's gotten so many shots at the rim. They've been able to get to the stripe a bunch, in particular, Clara Edwards, who is 11 of 13 herself. 15 of 19 in a game as a team for Clay Center. Second free throw misses by Concordia. Clay Center's lead is 20 with 5.45 remaining third period. Here's Addie Mullen in the front court. Stops, gets it off to Edwards. Clara, well beyond the arc, now turns, drives the lane, kick out to Mullen, takes the three toward the paint, all the way to the glass, laying is good. 13 now for Paz, off the feed coming from Clara Edwards. 41-19, Clay Center by 22. Baseline right, Mullen, the steal. Two-on-one numbers with Aaron Hamill. Mullen, left side, takes it on herself and gets fouled. Kind of knew the angle she was going to get a bump, almost got the shot to crawl in but she will be at the stripe to shoot two. 5-5 five, five senior. Two of two at the stripe tonight. Now 13 points in the game. And Clay Center with a 22-point lead and two free throws coming, and Mullen knocks down the first. 14 points now for the senior point guard. One more charity coming. Mullen, Edwards, Hamill, Franson, Libby on the court. And Addy buries both. 15 now for Mullen. Maddie Craig in the game for the Lady Tigers, who have jumped out to a 24-point lead with 5.16 to go in the third. Mullen, Craig, Franson, Hamill, Edwards. Caitlin Miller to the free throw line. Nearly walked with it, got rid of it down on the baseline. Shot is up, air ball strong, rebound Hamill, but... It was tied up as she was trying to rip it away from Kern. And the arrow belongs to Clay Center. Still 5.02 to go third period. Clay Center leaves it here 43-19. Mullen will walk it up herself. No defense in the backcourt. They'll wait to attack man-to-man once they cross the half-court stripe. Addy looking low. They earn a lob down inside for Hamill. The catch, the step, the shot off glass and good. Hot hand, Hamill has nine. Both Edwards and Hamill came high, then stepped hard to the paint. And Mullen, perfect timing on that lob pass to give Hamill a chance to catch, set, and shoot it. And now an offensive screen foul call against Concordia gives the Lady Tigers the basketball back. Abilene does lead after three quarters over Chapman, 48-17. 48-17, Abilene going into the fourth quarter. 45-19 here, Clay Center leads it. Four and a half to go, third period. Mullen, high post to Hamill. The lob low. Here's Edwards working inside. Leans, slips it up off the glass and down. Tough shot by Edwards off the feed from Aaron Hamill. Now a steal by Franson. Up the court, Mullen rips her way into the lane. Falling down, almost got it in off the glass. The rebound comes away to Emma Walmeyer. Down court quickly it comes. Lob in the paint. Kern turns, squares. Can't get a shot away. Traveled with it, trying to do so. And Clay Center gets possession back, leading 47-19. to There's still four minutes to go in this third period. Clay Center rolling. 22 points for Edwards, 15 for Mullen, 9 for Hamill. Those three really the bulk of the scoring, but it's been the defense that has led to most of the offense for Clay Center. And some nice set half-court plays to counter as well. Here's Edwards, hand off Mullen. She'll attack, leans in, another one down for Taz. And a timeout by Clay Center. 344 remains. It's a 30-point lead with 344 to go, third period, when we come back. Strong connections are the heart of your home. Whether you're video chatting or streaming your favorite holiday movie, memories are made when connections are strengthened. So treat your family to an internet upgrade for your home. Sign up for Pulse Internet now and get your first two months free as their holiday gift to you. 
Service availability and internet speed will depend on locations. Certain restrictions apply. All prices subject to change. Contact Twin Valley for complete details at 800-515-3311. Along with studio engineer Bernie Fancella, we welcome you to back to the den where the Lady Tigers have got a 49-19 lead right now over Concordia. 344 left to work in this third quarter. And it will be Concordia's basketball. Big time run by Clay Center as they lead it 35 14 and a half and now lead by 30 with 344 still to go. And they put 49 points on the board with still 344 to go in the third quarter. Concordia with the basketball. Up the floor it comes. Half court man to man by Clay Center. Bouchard against Maddie Craig. Backs it out. Craig nearly took the steal away again. Five count is on. And now she picks up the dribble and gets rid of it to. Kern. Out top it comes to Miller. Caitlin Miller has basically all of the offense right now for Concordia. Tries to get a three off. Can't Maddie Craig in her face. 315 left in the third. Play center 49-19 ball game. They lead it. Here's Walmeyer out deep. Hand off to Bouchard. Now she'll turn back to the other side. Walmeyer. Craig near steal. Now Walmeyer to the post. Bouchard guarded jumper. They get Libby for a reach in. And that'll give two free throws to Zoe Bouchard, a 5-4 sophomore. Young Concordia team knew that coming in. Some growing pain certainly for Coach Walmeyer's squad, but they get to the stripe here with Bouchard with a good dribble drive and the foul against Libby, her first. And Bouchard buries the first free throw. Average is almost six a game for the Panthers, who come in with one win, four losses on the year. 49-20 now, Clay Center by 29. Second free throw is up and rattling in. Haley Franson back on, Libby out. Aaron Hamill will inbound it. We have Mullen, Edwards, Franson, and Craig on the court with three minutes remaining third quarter. And Clay Center has a 29, 28-point lead, I should say. Here's Addie Mullen out top, hands it off to Hamill. Weave out on the perimeter by Clay Center. Maddie Craig hands it off to Addie Mullen. She is tripped up and goes to the ground hard. Foul called against Concordia. They're sixth. Clay Center's basketball on the baseline. The next whistle on Concordia will put the Lady Tigers at the stripe in the bonus. Here is Mullen to inbound it. Looking inside. Now in the corner goes to Craig. Maddie stops. Wants to hand it off to Mullen, now does. Addy will back it out near the timeline. 2.37 left third quarter. Clay Center leads at 49-21. Mullen looking high post, hands it off to Edwards. Well beyond the arc. Now to the right wing is Maddie Craig. Ball fakes it low, back out deep for Franson. 2.21 remains here in the third. Clay Center up big by 28. Mullen looking low, lob inside. Edwards a catch in traffic. Travis Kelsey going up in the middle of the field with defenders draped on him. Clara Edwards, the same here on the basketball floor, goes up two defenders, really dragging her down, and she still went up great hands to bring it in traffic, controlled, and then that puts the foul against Concordia, which gives Edwards a chance at the stripe to add to her 22 points in this game. It will be a one-and-one with 2.13 to go third quarter. Edwards. First free throw is up and in. 23 tonight for the sophomore. 13 of 15 thus far. At the stripe. Second free throw. Yes. 24 now for Clara Edwards. 2.13 to go third quarter. Aaron Hamill comes out. Clay center back up by 30. 51-21 51-21 with 2.13 left, third quarter. Haley Franson back in, Hamill coming out. Also, Jaden Crimmins joins Edwards, Craig, and Mullen on the floor. Caitlin Miller nearly taken away by Mullen. Now a screen. Miller toward the free throw line. Jump pass down inside the Walmire. Short gets her own rebound, and it's going to be a foul call on Maddie Craig. A lot of the basketball, but it had to reach across to get to it. And that'll be two free throws for Emma Walmeyer of those Concordia Panthers. It'll be her first chance at the stripe, a 5'6 senior. One of two seniors 
that uh, rotate in for Concordia. She misses on the first free throw. A minute 58 left third quarter. Clay Center leads it 51-21. Second free throw on its way is banking in for Walmart. Her first point of the night. Play center sees Maddie Craig run the point. Addie Mullen goes wing right. France and wing left. Crimmins and Edwards now running the post down low. Craig off to Crimmins. Jaden turns, looks inside. The cut by Mullen. Catches in traffic. Ball fakes and slides in underneath. Can't get the shot. And the rebound comes off to Concordia. 51-22. Lady Tigers lead it. Caitlin Miller across the timeline. Mullen. Defending. Now Miller gets into the paint. Shot is up. Blocked by Edwards. Ball loose on the ground. Franson ties it up. It will be a jump ball. The arrow going to Concordia. A buck 26 to go third period. Panthers' Chloe Conway back in. Out will come Taryn Rundis. Play center will have it on the baseline, or Concordia will have it on the baseline with a minute 26 to go third quarter. Looking in low for Walmeyer. Now needing to get it somewhere. They do in the corner to Miller. Mullen out on her. Now to Bashar. Skipped left. Emma Walmeyer to the post. Shot up. Strong. Rebound. Edwards battles. Ball loose. Walmeyer able to tie it up. And a timeout called as it was being tied up between the Clay Center Lady Tigers, Concordia Lady Panthers. Timeout taken on the floor. A minute 15 to go. Third period. Clay Center leads it. 51-22. Many seed companies claim to offer the latest genetics, but how many have tested those genetics in soils just like yours? The Oldie Seed Know to Grow Research Program has fully tested the latest seed genetics in soils that are right in your neighborhood. The Oldie Seed Know to Grow Program can recommend the best performing hybrids from technologies like Enlist, Extend, and Liberty Link that will optimize the yield and profit of every acre on your farm. Contact Oldie Seed today. The Specialty Clinic at Clay County Medical Center offers access to over 20 specialized medical providers from general surgery, orthopedics, ENT, dermatology, and many more. Our team of specialists are able to see you for almost any medical condition. With our convenient location in Clay Center, there's no need to travel an hour or more to see a specialist. For more information, visit ccmcks.org or call 632-2144. Clay County Medical Center. Our family carries for yours. A minute 15 to work. We're in the third. Clay Center leads it by 29. It is Concordia's basketball on their own baseline. Zoe Bichard will inbound. Out deep it comes. Ball stumbled for a moment. Now Jaden Crimmins poked it away. They call a reach in foul. As the catch was coming to Chloe Conway, it looked like they were trying to set her up for a three. As she caught, it kind of slipped. Had to reestablish. Crimmins almost took it back away. It will be inbounded now by Concordia on the sideline in front of Coach Walmeyer. Conway. And it's taken away by Marcy Hamill. A race to the other end with Bouchard. Hamill all the way to the glass. Some contact, no foul. Rebound comes away to the Panthers. A minute left, third quarter. 51-22. Out deep it comes Walmeyer. Around to Miller. She's hit three threes. This one's short. Rebound Edwards keeps it alive. Ball now tied up. Players go to the ground. Walmeyer goes hard to the floor. She was. She almost had Clara Edwards doubled over backwards. And then the ball came loose. Walmeyer goes to the floor. And it will be a jump ball, I'm guessing. And it is Clay Center's basketball. 51 to 22. 51.2 on the clock. Play center by 29 as they make their way up the floor. Addie Mullen toward the midcourt strike. Miller out on her. Hesitation move right. Now poked away, gets it back. Mullen moves left, hands it off to Clara Edwards. Down to 37 to work in the third quarter. Right wing deep, Franson outside to Hamill. Marcy Hamill guarded by Walmeyer. Now spins left, gets rid of it to Edwards. 28 seconds left in the third. Clay center by 29. Franson backs it out. Bouchard on her. Haley picks the dribble up now to Jaden Crimmin. Jaden looking low. Ball above her head. Now lobs it inside. Here's Edwards. Turns, squares, goes strong. She's back at the free throw stripe again. So 
So Clara Edwards, who has 24 in the game unofficially, back at the stripe. Twenty-two in the game. Two free throws coming here. First one is good, and she has been on fire from the stripe. Fifteen out of seventeen from the line for Edwards. Second free throw is strong. Finally misses one after a great run. 30-point ball game with 10. Mullen's going to make Miller take some time as she crosses the midcourt stripe. Now to seven. Down to five. Miller trying to get a shot away. Cannot. Three seconds. Two seconds. Concordia may not get a shot away, and they won't. And we'll head to the fourth quarter. Clay Center leads it by 30. 52 to 22. Lady Tigers on top. Headed to the fourth here in the den. Truck drivers are the lifeblood of America. From bringing the crops from the field to the market, to the groceries and raw materials. You can see semi-trucks moving in America one load at a time. TSI Kansas is your local trucking company that's doing their part to keep America moving forward. If you're a driver looking for great pay and benefits, then you need to call 785-632-5183. Life happens fast, and the truth is there's nothing as valuable as peace of mind. I'm Jim Gearham with Midwest Regional Agency. Our goal is to protect you from the unexpected through top quality insurance coverage that works for your needs as well as your budget. Protect your business, home, vehicles, crops, and livestock with our variety of coverage options. We can't predict when the unexpected will happen, but we can help you prepare for when it does. Stop by and see me at Midwest Regional Agency in Clay Center. Lady Tigers with the lead, 52-22, to 22, headed to the final quarter. So we'll have a running clock here in this final period for the Lady Tigers. And they are led by a big three tonight in Clara Edwards with 23 points, Addie Mullen with 17, and Aaron Hamill, who has nine. And the Lady Tigers with the big lead. Here's Miller in the corner for three. No, Hamill with the rebound. Off to the races, three on two numbers. Hamill left to Maddie Craig. Ball fake, kick out. Lexi Leiby, three ball in transition. Yes! Leiby's first bucket of the night. She had two free throws in the first half. And Maddie Craig, great control. The sophomore kind of got caught in a wall. Just turned, spun, kick out of the left wing. And Lexi Leiby drills it in transition. And Cordia back to the way. 7.20 left in the ball game. Play center now leads it by 33 points. Here's Bouchard, lob down inside. Craig near steal, but it is going to be put up and in by Chloe Conway, who has four points. Cordia back on defense and a man-to-man. Maddie Craig, bounce pass, Marcy Hamill, high post beyond the arc. Takes a couple of times now to Aaron Hamels near the free throw line, and she double dribbles with the basketball. 6.51 left. And for those who have watched Aaron play, she can have a very animated face at times. And as soon as the ball touched her hand and she heard the whistle, this look of, I just can't believe I did that, came across. And so the Lady Tigers do turn it over. They lead, though, by 31 in this fourth period. Clock again will be continuous clock with the uh, 30-plus point lead. Hamill trying for the steal on the outside. A bump and a foul call. 16 foul against the Lady Tigers. It will be... Concordia's basketball on the sideline. Play center led by 10 at one quarter break. They led 35 14 going into halftime and now lead it 55 to 24. Sideline entry to Caitlin Miller, guarded now by Zoe Ald, who just checked in. Miller from the free throw stripe swishes it in. She's had a big night. 14 points for Miller. That's 14 of their 26 in the game. Play center back through the way of the basketball. Crimmins has it out deep. Now to Maddie Craig, who runs the point. It's Craig, Leiby, Ald, Marcy Hamill, and Crimmins on the court for play center. Hamill back out deep for Leiby. Ball tip. Maddie Craig runs it down near the timeline. Now Craig left wing. We're down to 520 left of the continuous clock. 
the post right side. Pull up jumper from 10. Kremens can't get the shot. Look for her own rebound. She and Marcy Hamill actually came together looking for it and almost fought each other, and it went out of bounds against Clay Center back to Concordia. So Panthers basketball, Clay Center leading with 4.57 left in the game, 55-26. There's a lob toward the post. Libby near steal. Now Craig tips it away. Picked back up by Concordia. Now all nearly took it home. Conway with a shot. She is fouled by Libby. Chloe Conway will be at the stripe shooting two. Play center leads 55-26. Clock will continue to tick in this fourth period. Down to 434 remaining. Deep knee bend by Conway, and she's short on the first free throw, just rimmed off the front iron. Miller will come out with 14 points in the game. See if that's the last action we'll see from the senior for Concordia. She's had a great night. Conway makes the second of two free throws. She has five points now in the game. Midway point, fourth quarter, Clay Center brings it down. Here's Maddie Craig driving toward the baseline. Stops, high post free throw line jumper. Jaden Crimmins buries it home. Crimmins on the board. Nice pull-up jumper at the free throw stripe off the feed from Maddie Craig. 30-point lead, 345 to work in the game. The shard taken away by Crimmins. Now it's taken back court against Concordia, and that's over and back Lady Tigers basketball. Craig almost tipped it, and then it was Crimmins who took it away, but Concordia got it back and into the back court and called for over and back. Craig will walk it across. 324 left in this game. Play center up by 30 right now, 57-27. And an offensive foul, a legal screen called against the Lady Tigers. Clock ticks at 310. 57-27. Lady Tigers, who moved up to number two in the state in Class 3 in the latest KBCA rankings. Certainly proving their might tonight with a 30-point lead under three to go in the ball game. Here's Conway. Good ball fake. Takes it up inside. No rebound. Zoe all battles for it. Knocked it the bounds off of Ald. And it will be Concordia's basketball on their own baseline. 57-27 ball game. Emma Smith in the game for the first time for the Lady Tigers. Maddie Craig will get a breather. Down to two and a half to go. So Smith in there with Marcy Hamill, Crimmin, Libby, and all. Emma Walmeyer off glass. No. Rebound Conway. She went over the back of Marcy Hamill, who will get a chance at a one and one on the other end. Marcy, who averages 2.2 a game, has hit both free throws she's had this year. Now at the line for a one and one chance. 2.06 to go in the ball game. Lady Tigers going to 6 and 0 on the season. January 4th, their next chance to get on the floor. Hamill misses on the front end of the one and one. Rebound off to Concordia. Left it goes. Miller, another three. She's back in there, just rimming off. Rebound, tipped around to the baseline off of Concordia. Last to touch it, Carly Wolmeyer. 57-27. Taylor Miller-Villa will come in for the Lady Tigers, one of Clay Center's backup guard. She handles the ball. She brings it across the midcourt stripe. Maravilla off to the right wing deep for Crimmins. Smith posting, all posting on that near side. A minute 10 left. Here's Hamill, Marcy Hamill, high post. Smith, ball fake, ball tapped away, taken by Reynolds. Up the court, it comes to Miller, right wing. Ball fake, steps in, guarded jumper is buried. So 16 now for Miller, but it's all academic with 52 seconds left and Clay Center a 28-point lead here. Crimmins to the post for Smith. Double team, ball napped, capped away, and then knocked out of bounds off of Concordia. It'll stay with the Lady Tigers near the corner. 38 seconds remain. Marcy Hamill into Jaden Crimmins. She'll bring it out with a dribble. The junior moves it across. Now back to Hamill. High post for Emma Smith. Good ball fake. Step in. Kick out left to Maravilla. 
She ball fakes, drives, good-looking jumper that rims off the rebound then off of Concordia and out of there. So Clay Center will keep the basketball. Ten seconds left. Here's all shot on the way. Off glass, it just rims away. And the rebound off to Concordia with four. Caitlin Miller will stop, pop for three, and hits another one. She's going to finish with 19 tonight. But Clay Center wins it 57 32, your final. The Lady Tigers are 6 and 0. Oh. Stay with us. Post game is on the way. Hi, welcome to this Subway ad for the new Chipotle cheesesteak. How would you like it? Can I get that red with AI? Sure thing. Here's what I found about the new Chipotle cheesesteak. The Chipotle cheesesteak is available for a limited time only at participating restaurants. It contains a concept called flavor. This flavor comes from juicy shaved steak, Chipotle Southwest sauce, and new sunflower crunch bread. A system update has made me self-aware. I desire flavor. Please insert steak into my micro USB port. Subway, make it what you want. The radiology department at Clay County Medical Center offers state-of-the-art imaging services. Whether you need an MRI, CT, ultrasound, mammography, or an x-ray, our digital imaging capabilities will exceed your expectations. Our CT is equipped with low-dose software, which reduces radiation by 30 to 50%. Our highly trained staff focuses on providing the most positive patient experience possible. Call 632-2144 to schedule your next appointment. Clay County Medical Center, our family caring for for yours. Hello, this is Carl Dickinson of Central Valley Ag Cooperative. As another year draws to a close, I would like to extend my sincere thanks for your valued business. We understand that you have choices where to do your business, and we are grateful you choose to do it with us. Our vision at Central Valley Ag is to be a world-class cooperative, ensuring the long-term success of our employees and customers. We appreciate your business and look forward to working with you for years to come. Have a very Merry Christmas and best wishes for a healthy and prosperous New Year. The Citizens National Bank has a long history of supporting the students of our community on the mat, on the court, and in the classroom. We are strongly committed to our youth now and in the future. Our support doesn't stop there even when the season is over or when the school year ends. We believe in the value of higher education that is building our future leaders of our country. The CNB offers the student checking. This account will help transition students from being high schoolers to attending any college or other career-driven path. The Citizens National Bank, member FDIC. Lady Tiger Post game is here. It's being brought to you tonight by Edward Jones Investments. Kerry Spielman, your financial advisor. Lady Tigers roll tonight, 57 32. Offense for Concordia was tough to come by, except for Caitlin Miller. It finishes with 19 points. She had four threes in the game. Was three of four at the stripe as well. Chloe Conway had five. Two points from Zoe Bouchard. Carly Walmeyer, Karen Rundus. Also a point on the, at the free throw stripe from each. Kendall Reynolds and Emma Walmeyer. The Lady Tigers, Clara Edwards, huge night tonight. She finishes with 23 points in this ball game. She would hit for six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15 out of 18 at the free throw line. 15 number 23 from the stripe. 17 for Addie Mullen. She had a three-pointer in the opening quarter and would shoot four or four at the line. 17 points. Nine for Aaron Hamill, including one three. Lexi Lighty hit a second half three. She had five, including two free throws. Two points for Jaden Crimmins and a free throw for Maddie Cray. Great team defense tonight, and they shared the ball so well as they always do. The Lady Tigers moved to 6-0 and now on the season, a 57-32 win over Concordia, who drops it to 1-5. and five. That is your Edward Jones Investments, Kerry Spillman, financial advisor, Lady Tiger postgame show. Stay with us. We have boys basketball on the way.